but this is an educational informational video how to deal with the MK Ultra fucking mind controlled human now as you may know or maybe you don't maybe you're the Russian leaving his Cyrillic girls online uh, posts just get the fuck out of here guy if you got something to say say it fucking girls online see the stalking shit begins and why do they stalk it's part of the program but the point of this video is to talk about people who got real hardcore MK Ultra. as you can see I got my magnet on my head why it's fucking cuz I want to so if you if you try to learn you can learn a lot of stuff about how it works it's quite fascinating. Check out Fritz Springsmeyer, How to Make a Undetectable Mind Control Slave. See, the people that do this, like professionally, they split people's personalities. And how do you do that? Well, you fucking traumatize the fuck out of them to where they gotta go to their happy place. Going to the happy place is when that part of you splits off, becomes another personality. Well, the one that's actually enduring the trauma goes through the other personality and then gets programmed while the happy place inner child thing is deep within the self, retreating and hiding. They have some weird core personality, front alters and back alters. Now, most of this they can do now with the electronics. So there's not a fucking thing you can do about it. You're watching TV, you're getting it. You're listening to the radio, you're getting it. You're watching the fucking signs down this road as you go, you're getting it. Now, if you see somebody that has a lot of those traits and qualities, there's two things you can do. One, be fucking aware of it. Because someone who's under mind control, which most people are to some degree, they're not going to be able to be real with you it's like a wild animal they might be your friend one of those aspects might be friends with you but the altar that's programmed to kill you will kill you take your shit fuck you over whatever it is that they got to do they're going to do it because they're triggered and they're programmed most of them <clears throat> See, the people that, that are the wisest, or think they're the wisest, or the most sinister evil of all, have to use the, the women. They use the women for their honeypot, you know, because if you take the, the woman, you get the family. So you eliminate the father figure, and then it breaks down from there. And they've done a good success at this in our nation. You see the fucking fathers are broken apart, they're not away from their kids. Some other fucking assholes uh, running the family and programming the kids or whatever. A lot of this goes on. There's a bunch of kids that don't even have dads. But when you find someone in this state, you can first, well, you're aware of it. If you're aware of it, you also have to know that you have programming too. That's what allows you to recognize the programming. It's a program. Now, but wait. Don't lose heart yet. See, the whole point of the whole damn thing, humans are a programmable species. Our soul programs itself into this body. The mind, the body, the spirit. Now you have a spirit because you are a spirit. But you also have this body. You have other dimensional bodies and other shit too, but I'm talking about from the perspective of this reality. Now this reality, where we live here on Earth in 2020, it's really fucked up because we've let so much shit go so far and the people that make the fucking 500 year plans or whatever they do they've been at it for quite a while and they take their time because of the reptilian sort of uh, cold-blooded long-lived nature that you know makes plans that transcend uh, lifetimes and shit the human doesn't live very long Think about if you were to live twice of your lifespan, what you could do and what you could learn and, and develop. You know, if somebody was 
able to live 80 years and still be young, they might be getting into some really advanced shit and just starting to do it. You know, so entities that can live, you know, multiple hundreds of years can advance their own technology or soul nature technology, of course, a lot further. So, if you try to make someone aware of shit, it's normally going to cost you something. But it is a labor of love, because usually once you pull that string to unravel uh, someone from uh, the veil of illusion, that this is a normal world, nothing's going on here, it's worth doing it spiritually, because it'll give them a foothold into getting back some sort of sensibility. It might take years. It might never happen, but you can at least say you've tried. You know, and if you can show someone things about reality that you experience that shouldn't be or shouldn't make sense, then there you go. But there's no telling what the fuck's going on other than there are people and they're they're predatory. They're not trying to do anything. They don't believe in anything higher. And basically the entities or beings that are doing all this shit don't have souls. They lost their souls. That's why they use the humans. And yeah, they're not humans. They're demonic. They're not human beings. They're not your friend. But they're really great actors and they're very smart. Like demonic entities. They're very intelligent. But you do have to know that you have the ability to... You have authority over them if you're a believer. And when I say believer, I mean someone... If you have your spiritual sinner centered and you have a relationship with it, that's Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness will let you be aware of things that aren't in your own ability to be aware. And that opens the way for you to have your Akashic records and know your own DNA codes and all the history of who you are and where you've been. Because we've all been here the whole fucking time the universe has been here. We might not have been in the form we're in now, but that doesn't mean we weren't here. Every bit of what you are has been here in a different form, no doubt. So, if you try to do that, try to do it, but you have to very much draw a line and know not to cross it and don't let it be crossed. You know, and if someone's deliberately fucking with you when they know what makes you crazy, that's a line that you don't need crossed. It doesn't take very much things to keep people at peace. If you communicate, you let somebody know something, then they'll be all right. But if you dick them around and you do shit to deliberately undermine their peace, then you're an asshole. That's a program. You're doing that because you're fucking running program. You're being a fucking dick. You don't have to do that, but you choose to do it. Every thing you do is a choice. And every choice is either centered in love or it's not. And it doesn't take much of your ego to be uh, used or whatever to just communicate to somebody. If you've, uh, if you're supposed to do something, or if you have something of theirs, or whatever the case is, now you have two choices. You could communicate to them, especially if you're not um, doing what you said you were going to do. People fail all the time. People make mistakes. Shit happens. That's a fact. But if you don't communicate and you let somebody know, that's like having uh, somebody that you care about. Uh, be in a dangerous situation and not communicate with you and they could that's fucked up because you think they're dead you know have you ever uh, not heard from somebody and really generally worried about them that's fucking hell you do that with your kids it's even twice as much hell it's not right 
And the only way for people to really cope with that is to either file them in their mind as gone and do that same sort of split the personality off or go ape shit fucking crazy. You can't really, there's not really a, a in between. So that's what's going on. And people make those choices. You make the choice. And the choice that you, that you make is either centered in love or it's not. And don't flip it on somebody. If you did something fucked up wrong, just admit it. It's no big deal. If they're going to kill you for that, well then fucking you've done it. Most things you have to figure, you have to take the credit for or the blame. And it's not about blame. It's about, it's about... If you don't put yourself in the driver's seat, even in things that you have not a fucking seeing connection to, then you're letting other things have your power. And what power you have is how you respond to the reality, because you don't have any power. There's nothing you can do to make your hair grow. There's nothing you can do, but your ability to choose and respond rather than react, is your power. That you should have. You should take a hold of. And if someone's fucking with you, is as an enemy, stalker, or just someone just not giving a shit about you and making it about them and not you, then cut those ties. Because they're not going to get any better. They don't care about their, your, their self. They're not going to be able to care about you. And that's not worth it. That's all I gotta say.